Hello! What night is it? It's Creature from the Black Lagoon night. It's been a while, but it's time. Yeah, so, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. so, um, we have finally, we finally, Ben finally got it. We have, um, he got a pack of Universal Monsters movies. Oh yeah. And Creatures from the Black Lagoon was luckily one of the ones on it. There's, uh, there's eight movies on it. They tried to sell me the steel book, but I had to be a little bit cautious. And I got the one with the creature from the Black Lagoon. Now, we've been uh, looking forward to watching this movie for months, and might actually be, might actually be the night. I really hope so. I gotta, this time around, I'm gonna, gotta get that popcorn. And then also, I just realized, I also remember I got, um, I got some movie candy. We well, got that for when we actually were on the search for. Yeah, when we were on the search for the creature. Yeah. So. Now I have to pee. So. <laughs> you go ahead and do that. I'll go and just. Um, not this time, no. So. Yeah. So we've been looking for this movie for quite some time now, and um. He found here. Let's see if I can find it. See if he where he put it. Um, I don't. Here it is. All right. So here you can see he got this thing. So. Um, yeah, first one you see is the classic Dracula. Um, I think we should, at least I want to at least watch uh, Nosferatu before we come around to this one. Um, the next up is the Frankenstein, which I actually did see. I remember a long time ago watching it. Um, AMC was doing their horror movie thing that they do, and they were playing this. And all I remember was thinking like, oh, this is a horror movie, and it wasn't scaring me and stuff. And you know, I didn't really appreciate it for what it was. I remember my grandpa used talking to me about it. He's like, "Oh, this was the scariest thing alive, you know, scariest thing around," which is kind of funny to listen to. Um, the Mummy. Um, I never actually really thought of this one. I think it'd be kind of cool to see. Um, the Invisible Man. I think this one would also be kind of cool to see. Um, probably say, I'd say this is probably my third most one that I think I'd probably want to see out of this. Um, Frankenstein's Bride. This is probably the one I'd probably be least excited about. It's just, um, I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of like a taking a favorite, you know, a fan favorite and kind of switching the gender just for reasons. I don't know. It may be good. Um, the Wolfman. This is the one that we're probably anticipating the most second behind Creature. I think it looks, you know, it looks really cool. I think it'd be really cool to see. Um, fan of the Opera. This one. Okay, so I know that it's like known for being like really. Ben was telling me about how. Uh, oh, that one doesn't matter. About um, the time. This is the one with the makeup, right? Yeah, but that's the 1951 version. Yeah, but wasn't that the one with the creepy face? No. No? Oh. No, I don't want to watch that version. You don't want to see this one? No. Okay. Well, um, I, a long time ago, long, 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 long time ago, I watched the most recent remake, like the one from the early 2000s, and um, I don't remember anything about it. It was that long ago. I, all I remember was um, we were at a, like a video rental store, and uh, <laughs> and uh, Jurassic Park. Oh my! Yeah, shout out to Sai for giving Ben the yeah, hat. I think so. I, it fits like a hat. But um, we went to a rental movie place and. I saw a fan of the opera there, and I thought the guy looked cool with the mask, and I was like, oh, I want to rent this one. My mom's like, no, you don't. This movie's garbage. And I was like, yes, I do. She ended up renting it for me, and uh, she was forcing me to sit through the whole thing. I didn't want to sit through the whole thing, so uh, she's like, uh, oh, I'm going to spank you, you know, if you don't do it. And I took, I, I took the, the whipping, 
<laughs> um, I remember uh, I get I got hit with a paddle, and most people would be like, "Oh, that's child abuse." But honestly, really, it was probably just like a little smack. I was like, I was probably like seven. Children nowadays don't understand. Oh that. yeah, <laughs> I was probably like seven, and it it didn't. You know, at the time, it was like, "Oh, I got hit." But I forgot about it in a week, so... Have you seen the uh, Goosebumps Phantom of the Opera by this point? Oh, that was like a Phantom of the Auditorium. That's what yeah. that one's called. Yeah. yeah. I think that one's pretty cool. Yeah. We, should, we could do a whole series based off watching the Goosebumps. Goosebumps. I'd actually do that. I think I would, too. You know, it'd be a nice idea. Night Slappy. Slappy. Slappy is easily the best toy come to life. Night thing. at Camp Nightmare. Yeah. It was like one of the OG ones. The ending of that one is the biggest plot twist, I think, out of any Goosebumps thing. Here, you can go ahead and take that. <laughs> but yeah, so. Did you, you never even. Did you even make it to Creature? Oh, I didn't know. So the last one is the Creature from the Lock Goon, which is the one we've been anticipating for the longest time. Yes. And now we're here. When and this then. This video gets a million likes, I'll buy the, uh, the trilogy. And then, I'll oh, back here. I think this looks really cool. They have like all of the uh, the monsters all together. Who's that? That's the creature. Who's that? That's Dracula. Who's that? That's the Phantom. Who's that? That's the creature again. No, that's the fridge. Oh, <laughs> okay. gotcha. Dang it. But I think it's be a cool poster to get if I could find something. Yee. But you know, yeah, we're finally here at the moment. So we'll. Um, we're not dead. Do you have anything you want to say? No, I, I just woke up. Yeah, you. I literally like I came out and I went to use the restroom. As I was coming back to my room, I was going to text him, because I thought he was in his room. Don't judge. Um, and then all of a sudden, I hear his voice coming from the dark. I'm like, <laughs> what the heck? There was literally no sign of life in the living room. He's like, I fell asleep. I was expecting you to wake me up. I'm like, I didn't even know you were in there. Yeah. So. I literally fell asleep on the floor. It was fun. We were talking about it. That's just a thing. Yeah, it's just a thing that happened. So. Oh, I want to put, cre put Creature in. I kind of want to see it. Alright. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it. What do you think? You know, honestly, depending on how this is, I don't know. So this is a horror movie. It's like a horror movie love story. Is that what it is? Yeah. Or is it like, see, the way I thought of it, it was more of like, I figured it was more of like an abduction story. Oh. More than like a love story like the girl. It looks like, like, she's screaming. If you look at the thing, she's like, she's like terrified. Yeah, because uh, she's drowning. Are those happy <laughs> screams? Oh yeah. Children don't know what happy screams are. Muted L. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot that's about that. That's where I got that from. Oh, happy screams. This is the first time we watched like an old movie on Blu-ray. It's just universal. It's really cool. It's just universal. Play in 2D. Go to 3D. Oh my gosh. Chapters. When we get the... We're going to have to get the... Um, Third projector. The, the projector. 3D projector. And watch that shit. Yeah. Well, um... Um... I forgot to eat... I forgot to eat dinner today. So, um... Yeah. So, um, we've done it. We've, we've done we've it. We've watched it. We have watched Creature from the Black Lagoon. Was it worth it? Yeah, I'd say so. I would have to agree. It definitely has some rewatchability to it. Yeah, I definitely say so as well. I think, um, if you were to watch it though, I think, yeah, if you were to watch it again, I almost feel like you need, you could honestly watch it any time of the year. As long as you're with a group of people that were into this kind of stuff as well. Like they were like, oh yeah, I want to watch. See, like you couldn't just bring it up to your friend, family and just be like, hey, let's watch this. Not everyone's going to be into it. Um, definitely has a lot of rewatchability and a lot of potential, in my opinion, to be remade. I think. I feel like it has a lot of potential, but yet it also shouldn't be. You don't think so? No. Sometimes you just don't remake stuff. That's like the only one of these classic movies that actually hasn't been remade. Maybe it's we, for the you've best. seen multiple renditions <laughs> of like Frankenstein, Werewolf, yeah. Dracula, um, 
the mummy i guess even fan of the opera i guess the only ones you really have in is like uh invisible man, man and uh creature which i guess invisible man you kind of have but in a more comedic way like oh no i turned invisible whatever shall i do yeah type of situations um but overall i think it was it was good you also if when you're watching it you also have to take in consideration the time frame that it was made in as well to you kind of make sure you know like what you're watching you know get you know understand why things are being done the way they are I would definitely 100% rewatch this in 3D like it was mm, intended yes. for, which we do intend on getting a projector that can play 3D. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if we'll do a video on it. I mean, I mean I'd, 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 I'd compare it. Yeah, we it could be a new it. style of video, like uh, comparing the two versions. Yeah, we what? Um, ones that we could do is Jaws 3, Black Lagoon, and... Um, Friday the 13th. Friday, yeah. Just be three ones. I feel like it all would have to be done in one video, but that's for another time. Yeah, um, yeah I definitely rewatch it in 3D, or if um, there were just, it was being um, viewed in like a theater, like a special theater viewing of it. Yeah, 100%. It um, overall, yeah, I think it was really good. Um, I could see why it'd be considered a classic. Yeah, I kind of wish there was more deaths. Yeah, but I can understand it from yeah, this time. Yeah, this is another so. time frame. I feel like, also, from what I've seen from these universal uh, horror movies, they're not necessarily, the creatures in them are not necessarily supposed to be killers. They're more um, misunderstood, I guess would be the best way to put it. They're not supposed to be killers or things. They're just like a different form of a living being that is just kind of misunderstood from the ones that I've seen. That are made to be creepy. Yeah, and um, looking at these, uh, I think the only ones that might not possibly be like that might be Dracula and the Mummy. Does yeah. that sound about right? And like, I'd say even the Phantom is while well, they have their mask. The on. Phantom is definitely, I feel like, is going to be a misunderstood kind of character with the mask on. You think? So? Yeah, and then uh, the Invisible Man. Could be one. Yeah, he's invisible. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah, the werewolf. I think could also be that way. Frankenstein. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Overall, I think it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. So, creature from the black lagoon. Where will it go on the list? Well, you'll just have to wait until our twenty-five movie. We're doing twenty-five movies. I'd be down to do the twenty-five movie list. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think that's we're the coming up to it then. Go. Yeah, pretty soon here. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. I would recommend watching it. I give it a four out of five. Uh, Universal monsters. What do you give it out of on a Universal monster scale? Um, I feel like it'd be really hard to because this is like the second one I've seen. Oh actually, no, not like comparing it to movies. Uh oh. Then, well, like, I was going to compare it with the other Universal Monsters. Oh, I, I gave it a... I, mine just, like, a five-star rating, but I replaced stars with monsters. Oh, oh. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Um, I give it a... 3.5... Ladies in white bikinis. Oh! We're going back to horrors of Spider Island. <laughs> And also this. Oh, that's like true. That. Yeah, one female. Only one. So, yeah, that was a sad part. So, yeah, that's basically it for Creature of the Black Lagoon. If you like the video, then maybe we'll give the sequels a try, possibly. So, yeah, adios, amigos. Bye, Drake.